How's it going everybody? Austin Carter here with Attack Line Leather. It's Saturday and today we're doing a Tool and Tuesday. Uh, and that's because I'm going to be super busy at the fire department and getting ready for Christmas orders. So I just decided to do this a little early and I hope you all are okay with that. In this Tool and Tuesday I'm going to show you how I hand tool uh, my basket weave. There's a ton of application for it. You can use it on knife sheaths, belts, wallets, etc. Um, just kind of wherever you want to put it. I hope you all keep watching and see how simple this project is. Alright, let's go. For this video, I'll be tooling the basket weave onto a knife sheath. But as I said before, this method works for belts, wallets, and any other leather craft projects. I begin by laying down my lines using an 8B pencil. Depending on the project, it's real handy to have several different thicknesses of ruler. For this knife sheath, I'm using a ruler that's about half an inch thick. I begin laying down my lines the same way I did in my video about cross hatches, which I'll leave a link to. The pattern I use is my personal preference, but y'all can adapt it any way you'd like. After all my lines are drawn up, I wet my leather and cut out the lines I made with a sharp swivel knife. The stamps I use for this project are large and small beveler. The large beveler is used on the longer swivel knife cuts and the small beveler is used to bevel in the small spaces. And now to the meat and potatoes of this design. A key note that I would highly encourage during this part of the tooling is to take your time. It's pretty easy to mess this pattern up if you go too fast. I'll go into more detail on this pattern in just a moment, but as you watch the video, remember this when you bevel. Up to, over to. Hey guys, real quick, thank y'all so much for stopping by my channel. Thank y'all to my new subscribers and all my past subscribers for just uh, give me the support that y'all are, are continually giving me. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and perhaps liking and sharing my videos to your friends, family, and maybe some other leather crafters you know. Uh, the continued support is just greatly appreciated and it really motivates me to bring y'all some more content and instructional videos. All right, let's get back to it. So just to clarify exactly how the pattern works, I wanted to kind of get in close just to show you. So let's just imagine that you haven't beveled or uh, done anything yet to this, okay? And you start beveling this line right here, okay? This is 
inside going that way and as I mentioned you're going to um, go over to up to so if you beveled this you're going to skip this section and you're going to bevel on the inside this way all right and so basically right here this line's finished so you either go up to you know so we can't do that uh, well or down to and so down to would be one two bevel bevel all right and so basically that's that then you rotate it around and if you beveled that side you're going to bevel the opposite sides of that so n you're never going to bevel on the same side so if you bevel here you're not going to bevel on this side so you're just going to basically rotate back and forth on everything so after you get you know up and down beveled then it's time to do uh, bevel this way so the same rules up apply now we're beveling this way and this is this is where we started okay so this is beveled this way this is beveled this way so now these are pushing out we want to bevel in this way so you just start with this bevel here and then the same rules apply up to bevel here over to bevel here and then you just follow that pattern making sure that you're never beveling on the same side and then when it's time to make your decorative cuts you will cut in on the inside bevels all right so you beveled here make all your cuts okay same thing here inside bevel cuts and then you just do the opposite side like that all right guys i hope this helps uh, a lot better uh, so let's get back to the main video thank you all so much for watching to the end of this video. For more leather crafting information, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and go check out my other videos on the channel. And as always, you'll have a great day.